Hello everyone. Welcome to I Exam B. We have been discussing about the questions that had come in 2022 phase 2 of RBI grade B. In our last session I had discussed about uh, the FM paper, the finance and management paper, descriptive questions and in this video I am going to discuss about the ESI phase 2 descriptive questions and happy to announce once again that we had 100% coverage at I exam B of the various descriptive questions that had come at ESI. So let's look at all the questions one by one. The first question was related to the economic reforms that have taken place in our country since 1990. So in 1991 major reforms, economic reforms had taken place in the form of LPG uh, and since then a lot more reforms have taken place and this is if you are looking at directly a topic from the syllabus more or less uh, in the syllabus it was mentioning about the economic history and the economic uh, the monetary and fiscal policy reforms of 1991 and since then uh, more reforms that have come you know you should be aware about so uh, the history is important when we are studying the ESI segment as per the syllabus also and if we talk about how this was covered in different formats the reforms that have happened in our country since 1991 have been covered uh, one was related to the economic reforms that have taken place after 1991 LPG reforms so this was the question in descriptive test 8 for ESI uh, uh, as I told you in my FM video also previously we had given 10 mock tests for ESI 10 mock tests for FM and 5 mock tests for descriptive English uh, that you could practice from and we had discussed 5 of each in slide sessions and uh, corrected and checked individually for a lot of candidates and for all these 10 mock tests of ESI and 10 mock tests of FM we had given detailed answers for the descriptive parts also. So uh, if all if the students had gone through this, this was a very, very easy question. So this is a glimpse of how we had given the detailed answers to the students um, uh, for the questions that were asked. So if this question was discussing after 1991. Uh, the questions. Uh, in another question we had actually discussed the LPG reforms of 1991 and a detailed answer this was actually the mock test one which was also available on our website uh, for free so the descriptive part which you can go and attempt and see yourself uh, how the answers were provided. Of course this is an important topic so the course coverage of course was also there in the form of recorded videos in form of notes uh, also there. Moving to the next question, the question had two parts which were related to uh, talking about the financial stability and the importance of it in the economy and in this respect two aspects had to be discussed. One was the financial stability report of RBI of December 2021 and the second was the economic reforms and the policy priorities that had been taken because uh, of COVID-19 in India. A similar question we had discussed in our first descriptive mock test which was related to discuss the fiscal and monetary measures that were incorporated to revive the economy from the pandemic. So similar question we had discussed and of course both fiscal and monetary measures had been discussed in this particular uh, uh, mock test. Also, we had covered the FSR in detail in our various classes and discussions and videos for the economic banking and financial awareness where the financial stability report was discussed uh, and its implications and the committee, uh, the, uh, the FSDC was also discussed because the, it is the subcommittee of FSDC that works uh, in the preparation of the financial stability report. Uh, moving on to the third question, this question was related to uh, how urbanization has spread uh, in villages and but there are various 
challenges that are there because of the protective discriminatory policies so how is that being addressed i wouldn't say that there was a direct question that we had covered however similar kind of questions related to urbanization related to discrimination and protective policies various discussions have happened uh, in our sessions it's very difficult to show proof of everything word by word but if i give you a glimpse of how uh, you know closer similar kind of questions we had been discussing urbanization is an important topic we have questions on urbanization in our various mock tests even in class discussions multiculturalism topic and various uh, constitutional uh, frameworks other policies uh which are there and how uh, they are important and also what are the challenges related to it both aspects have been discussed in detail in various various sessions by sushil sir by amit sir by ravi sir in their sessions on esi uh before i move on i would like to tell you how our course at i exam b helps you in your preparation of 50% faster uh now this preparation happens faster because of the crisp notes uh, because of the focused preparation that you are uh, you know the content is provided for that focused preparation in form of the videos and crisp notes mock tests practice tests quizzes previous year paper discussions that happen which help you to prepare in a focused manner to in remove in the information overload that you get around yourself and therefore it saves on your time and helps you prepare uh, with 50% faster speed moving ahead i'll also like to tell you about the extreme b program the first batch for 2002 consisting of two modules we successfully conducted at delhi and for the next batch related to 2020 through uh, 23 we are now coming at pune in july itself uh, here you get to meet the faculty face to face uh, like dr sharma sushil ragre sir indra prakash joshi sir myself prachi agarwal arunima sinha ma'am all the expert faculty at i exam b you get to meet face to face uh, for quant and reasoning also karan sardana sir and uh anshul malik sir are there available to you to help you uh practice solve your queries uh in the offline session so we are coming to pune in july 2022 if you want any details you can contact on our website and as i was telling you the faculty that is involved uh, dr sharma sushil ragre sir chandra prakash joshi joshi sir karan sardana who's an expert in quant and the various questions this year that students have found to be difficult he makes it very very easy to solve you can also watch his videos where he has discussed these questions and similar type of questions uh, on our youtube channel moving ahead to the next question the fourth question was there was a very very simple direct question i was expecting this kind of a question in actually the finance uh, paper but this came in the esi paper so there are a lot of topics fiscal policy monetary policy inflation union budget uh, so these are some topics which are overlapping in esi and fm which does not make much of a difference because we have to just study the topics right so this monetary policy very very direct question we had multiple types of coverage related to monetary policy in both the esi and fm paper to give you a glimpse in the esi paper we had a question directly about writing a short note on the monetary policy or the fiscal policy if i talk about the finance paper we had similar questions or related to monetary policy uh's role in in uh, you know in trying to uh, maintain the inflation and the economic growth in the country so we had detailed discussions about these questions also in the class where the entire framework of the monetary policy was also discussed by shikha ma'am uh, apart from that i have also done a detailed coverage about the entire process of monetary policy and the latest uh, decisions and the monetary policy uh, announcements that rbi had done in the june monetary policy committee meeting so uh, this video was also a part of our revision series which is available on the youtube
Moving to the next question about NBFCs. Again, this is more of a finance related topic and that is where we had discussed and covered it. Uh, NBFCs has been a very, very uh, important topic for RBI. If you will uh, be reading uh, a lot of RBI circulars, RBI has been coming up with so many regulations to bring the at least the larger NBFCs, the upper layer NBFCs almost at par with the banking system. So NBFCs, we had been focusing on a lot. If you go through our mock test, so many questions we had created related to NBFCs, mostly for the objective part because there were various circulars, regulations that have been updated in the last three, four months on NBFC. So this was a topic which we have discussed and multiple times in our sessions. Just to give you a glimpse, we also have detailed uh, notes and videos related to this particular topic and the question that was directly asked difference between NBFCs and banks and mentioned five types of NBFCs that are registered with RBI. This is a di direct conceptual question which has been exactly same covered in our notes and videos even lot of regulations as i was saying this is an important topic because in the last three four months and even before that rbi has been coming with a lot of regulatory updates related to mbfcs uh, the last question related to rural entrepreneurship and what are the challenges and uh, how you know, the new enterprises can help solve India's social problems through this. So this question not really directly covered. But again, as I said, a lot of discussions happen. Uh, so this is something which is very, very unique with uh, I exam B. We have live discussions, live classes, which are in addition to the videos conceptual videos, detailed videos related to your syllabus and topics and your PDF and your various kind of tests which are you know at the chapter level, at the section level and at the mock test level which is you know as per the full syllabus. So in addition to all these you also get live sessions, live classes where the faculty discusses and engages in a lot of discussions uh, about ongoing topics or topics of which are of importance to the economy or to RBI. So uh, uh, there was one such uh, topic session that in which you know about the rural businesses, how rural economy is developing and what are the various schemes that are helping in developing those. There was a session that was uh, taken by Ravi Sir. Uh, when he was uh, doing a session on answers writing, descriptive answer writing. And in this context, you know, various schemes, one of the important schemes of Startup Village Entrepreneurship Program was also discussed. So uh, when we are discussing and when we are talking, a lot of value comes out apart from just focusing on the uh, recorded and the PDF videos. So uh, that is how, you know, your descriptive ESI paper came this year. A lot of topics actually uh, were general in nature also, which, uh, which students have been able to attempt because they were so generic, like this rural entrepreneurship topic. Uh, and for example, even the monetary policy uh, is an easy topic that was there. So when all these topics were there, students have been able to attempt them even as essay topics. So a very di uh, direct or simple paper as far as descriptive was concerned for both ESI and FM came this year. Uh, as mentioned, we will be discussing the objective questions also for FM and ESI in our upcoming videos with detailed solutions, detailed discussion about the topic and how accurate our exam B has been in helping in your preparation. Uh, if you want to join us for the 2023 online course, it is currently available at a flat 45% off. So you do it uh, on our website or you can contact on the number given on your screen. Thanks everybody for joining uh, and do not forget to subscribe and press the bell icon so that you get the update for the upcoming videos for discussion related to objective papers of ESI and FM. Thank you everybody. Wishing you all the best.